I think there's probably a woman. She's been listening to this conversation as we've had it. Maybe, maybe she's been washing dishes as she's been listening, or maybe she stopped what she was doing and listening. And she wants to believe everything you've said, but she's also very worried, uh, maybe about something in her own life or just about the state of the world. I think any of us who have children, grandchildren, nieces and nephews right now, we, we yes. fight a lot of worry about what we see. Uh, maybe she's, she's beyond worry. Maybe she fights near constant, constant anxiety and it's debilitating. Maybe if she's honest, mm -hmm. she's depressed and she's been depressed for a long time. So her head is nodding. Um, but she's not quite sure how to grab on to the hope that heaven rules today. I I'd love to just hear practically how do you grab on to the hope that heaven rules and what can that woman do? You know, Aaron, it's a moment by moment thing. We want some great big experience that will fix it all for us or transport us into raptures of glory and out of the problems of this world. But I think there are two directions we're prone to look. One is within and one is around, hmm. but that never gives us hope. The two directions that give us hope, one is to lift our eyes up, to look up. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. It's just getting a vision of God, lifting our eyes mm -hmm. up to him. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of earth around will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. So look up. And sometimes that's just like, stop, get on your knees and look up, get down, mm. look up. But then also looking ahead mm. and remembering that the best is yet to come. Like read the book of Revelation. I do this regularly because I need it regularly because you have all this description of the battle and the intensifying opposition and warfare against the lamb and the enemies and the kingdoms of this world. And they all come against Jesus and they come against the saints. And for a time, they're allowed to win. The devils of hell are motivating so much of what is going on in this world today. And you see this in Revelation. But as you look ahead, you see who wins and you see the man on the white horse coming and, and, and having that sword, which is the word of God. And he destroys all the enemies of God and sends them into eternal judgment. And then he brings all his saints, his people to live with him forever and ever in the presence of God. And I just need those reminders because if you just live in the here and now, that seems so unreal. That seems so right. far off. It seems so impossible. It's just like, yeah, yeah, I know that, but here's where we're living. Well, our mm. hearts are seated with Christ in the heavenlies. And so as we look up and we look ahead, we're reminded that Jesus wins, that yeah. the this battle will not go on forever, that it will be won, the battle against our own sin, the battle to... Um, against false ideologies and opponents of the cross, that's all going to be over. And so it's not like we're just hanging on for dear life, you know, just like, get me out of here. We're clinging to Christ and realizing he is near and we are with him now. He is in us. He is working through us. He is taking us into this world to shine his light and bring his presence to the craziness around us. But he is also going to be with us and in us and through us for all eternity. We are his temple. We are that holy place, the new Jerusalem. We will dwell with him with no pain, no sin, no rebellion, no Alzheimer's, no dementia, no Amen. cancer, no political crises, no, no political parties. Only one king, one mm. ruler, and the beauty of his kingdom forever and ever and ever and ever. And those are the reminders we need to tell ourselves and we need to tell each other day after day. And as we do, we encourage our hearts in grace. We encourage each other in grace. And we walk and live in grace. And what is now sight, or what is now faith, will one day become sight. And we cling mm. to him all the way to the finish line.